In Creo 11.0, we have added a new capability to the Creo ANSYS Simulation Advanced Package. This capability is called Transient Structural Simulation. This enables a user to determine the dynamic response under time history loading. Our solution is very comprehensive, which includes very powerful simulation tools inside this mode. To help understand which features we have exposed for transient structural, let's use this conceptual frame and enforce a shock loading to this model. My first step is to enable transient structural by toggling the option on. Now all the features are made available to me in the UI. Next, we can apply our boundary conditions. I will first fix these two surfaces on the outside of the frame. The next step is to create an idealization where a motor is mounted to the frame. I'll use a point mass, which will distribute 300 pounds to the selected surfaces. This next step will simulate the dynamic shock to this part. I'll use the linear acceleration force and de define the direction and units. And then I can right mouse button on the magnitude and select function to apply the time dependent graph needed for this load. I'm going to paste the values in to this table that I've copied from another source. Now that I have the values entered, I can see a graph of the table. I can see this shock will last for 0.03 seconds. After I exit out of the linear acceleration, I can enter some information in the simulation setup dialog box. I wish to use large deflection and enter a damping value. Next, let's let this simulation run out for another 0.03 seconds after the load data and enter 0.06 seconds for this one-step simulation. I also want to get a nice smooth curve, so I will enter a small time step in at 0.001 seconds. My last step, which I can do now or I can do after the simulation is done, is to define my results. I will ask for displacement, von Mises stress, principal stress, and total strain. Each of these results will calculate the full response of the time for the simulation, which I just entered for a total of 0.06 seconds. Next, I will ask for a few different simulation probes. I'll ask for average displacement, average von Mises stress, and a displacement at a point value. Again, each of these probes will give me a respective graph so that I can understand these calculated values during my simulation. I have many options here for results to fully understand the response for whatever value I'm interested in studying. Next, I can click on Run. This simulation only takes a few seconds to run, and then I can start to evaluate my results. After this successful run, I can start with looking at the displacement of the frame. The first fringe that I'm given is the final time step of the simulation. We have a dragger bar where I can move this freely to any point along the time of the simulation. I can also enter the exact time in if I wish to. Also, for each result fringe, I can see a full graph of the data that I am asking for. Let's repeat these steps with the stress and the strain contour plots. Each of these I can fully control by time and units that I wish to see. Next, I can evaluate the probe data that I asked for. Each of the probes has a respective graph for the entire time step. Transient structural simulation exposes some very powerful capabilities within the Creo ANSYS Simulation Advanced Package to help customers perform multi-step time-dependent structural simulations inside of Creo 11.